Hi folks, in this Steam Summer Festival video, we'll be playing Grounded, or Honey I Shrunk the Survival Game, Windjammers 2, a sporty sequel to a 25 year old classic, Inglet, a superb platform game without platforms, Fights in Tight Spaces, a stylish deck building fight game, and Cosmocrats, a physics action puzzler with a comic flair. All the demos are available for a short time during the festival on Steam, and subscribe to Randomize User for even more coverage of the best indie games from this festival and beyond. Ooh, hello. This is Grounded by Obsidian, makers of Fallout New Vegas, The Outer Worlds, Pillars of Eternity, and much, much more. I admit I'm pushing the indie brief here, but this is a must-play. It's a Honey That I Shrunk the Kids survival game set in a garden full of bugs. It's a 30-minute time limited demo of a game coming out in early access in July. Right, so let's have a bit of a look around. Peblet. Nice. Right, so we'll keep on getting new crafting ideas. And we can't actually craft anything yet. Uh, because we things need to be analysed first. Oh, hello! <laughs> Little ladybird there for the lads. Oh, hello, another ant! Oops! <laughs> oh, oh, we didn't like that. Oh, it's, 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 it's very... Uh, it's very attacky. It's very... Um, uh. Okay, let's, um, let's go cross-country. The ant is still following us. Oh, block. Okay. Block. Oh, it still hurts. This is... Let's just tonk it. There! Man, man is in the ascendant. Oh, it's actually running away. Right. Okay, let's um, let's do some analysis. So, put the peblet through there. See what we can do with this. Oh, we can make a an axe. Excellent. Let's try the plant fibre. We've only got three charges here. We've got to use up two now. And woven fibre. So now... In theory, we can do a bit more crafting. That ant is still outside. Uh, let's see. Looks like we still need other stuff if we're going to do any recipes, though. Oh, look at this! That's some water. Got to pick out of the water. Ah! It's popping here. The mysterious machine. Ha! Huh. Practical technologies. Oh, this is... Oh, hello! Get out of here! Ooh, 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 stay back! Oh, oh, things happened. Huh. I've also got to find some water and food. Because <laughs> things have are things taking a turn. This is a survival. Let's drink this! Let's drink... Let's drink the bad water. It's bad. It's very bad. Oops. Eat the mushrooms. Yes! So yes, a proper actual survival game, and in, in, oh, it's the house. So that's where I am. This is Windjammers 2, sequel to a cult Neo Geo game from 25 years ago. If you haven't heard of the Neo Geo, um, I envy your youth. Um, so it's a bit frisbee, a bit air hockey, a bit volleyball, and all about learning the moves. Um, I'm on the left here, and you can play this demo against a local player, a CPU, or online. Right. Very basic throw there. Ha! Grab. Ha! Oop! Ha! Lob, grab, toss, grab. Oh, oh, no, miss, 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 miss. Well, <laughs> I intimidated her somewhat there. Okay. Ha! And bang! Whoop! And had! Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't quite actually release it there, but never mind. Oh, ha! Go, go. There we go. Into the goal. This is the best I've done so far. Hang on. <laughs> As I say, it's all about learning the moves. It's quite. Oh dear, that's just me dashing into a wall. That's less than ideal. Now we see my, my true lack of talent. Right, here we go. Oh, jump, toss. Right. Huh. Huh. Oh, she's going to do a thing. Oh, she's not. She's stunned. Oh, bloody hell, that went miles away. Okay, it went on the floor. I'm doomed. Uh, so in this demo, there are three different stages to choose from and th three characters. In the full game, obviously, there's going to be a lot more. Ha! Now, I like to say I did that on purpose. Oh, no, she's got her thing. Yeah, there are chargey bars in the bottom. So you've got to be careful. So it's ten all. Holy shit, this is actually quite close! Huh. Oh, I haven't quite won the Oh, I've won the set! <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I'd won a set before, but... Cool! <laughs> Yo, this is good. This is very good. This is a very good game. I like this a lot. Never played the original. Uh, never played on the Neo Geo, to be fair. It's... This is well cool. It's very energetically... Just... Fun. Huh. Especially when you win. Oh, dear. <laughs> Didn't quite get the points there, but never mind. 
This is Inglet by the dev who made Knit Stories, Affordable Space Adventures, and Ernog. It's a beautifully illustrated abstract platformer where you may be some sort of sea creature swimming through what may be pockets of water, leaping between them to keep what may be gravity at bay. It also may be a game about maps. Interpret it how you will. I mean, it's easier to play than to describe. In fact, it's a joyous wonder to play. But you should also play the demo just to check out the generative music that reacts to your graceful flopping about. I'm actually going to stay here, get the pink outline, which gives us a little checkpoint. You can do that basically anywhere. And off we go on the tracks. And yes, this is your special move. You can pause almost in midair and redirect yourself just once before you land back into one of your weird bubble type things. Ha! Oh no! I missed. <laughs> Oopsie. And up we go into there. Pause for a while, get our breath back. It's very customizable the difficulty in this, which is rather cool. And aim! So this is often described as a non-platformer, because there are technically no platforms. Which is quite right. Also bouncy. Oh! Oh you get oh you get another one! You get you, you get another um Shooty ability once you've actually bounced off one of those things. That's interesting. Never knew that. Or maybe you're some kind of bird. This is Fights in Tight Spaces, a beta demo this. It's a stylish, dick-building, tactical fighting game from the publishers of The Colonists, Frozen Synapse, and Tokyo 42. Right, so all these guys have intention to attack me. Me! How dare they? We have three action points. Each one of these cards takes one action point to um, process, other than shove, which is zero, but it doesn't really do any damage. And they've got 25, 30, 20 health, so we've got to be careful here. They're all trying to attack me in the middle, so I'm going to try, let's see, let's, um, let's try and get out of the way. Let's slip past them. And see what happens, actually, if we do a shovey poos over there. I'm trying to set them up so they um, attack each other. I haven't quite worked that out exactly how it all works, but let's move to there. Do a quick strike on him. And then see what happens now. Yes! <laughs> I've got them to attack each other! <laughs> oh, that's great fun. Oh, lads. Um, anyway. <laughs> That's the first time I've successfully managed to get them to do that. It's most satisfying. Oh. Anyway, the gun lad is um, going to attack. I think if, he see if he's got line of sight on me, he'll attack me, so I've got to be careful. Right, the takedown cards are very powerful, because if you shove someone into a wall, that does a lot of damage, but they have to be adjacent to a wall. So, let's shove him over there. Have I got a move card? I think I have. Oh, I haven't actually I haven't got a move card, so I can't move over to him to actually do the takedown. You have to be a, you have to be next to him, so no valid targets at the moment. That's alarming. I could do a front kick on him. Ha! I don't think I can get the guy to shoot the other guy though. That doesn't seem to work. Um, unfortunately, now it looks like I'm just gonna have to block. Uh, I don't think I can be attacked here, so let's just double block. Even though I don't, I don't think it, any of the ones are going to attack me because um, I'm not standing in the exclamation marks. Oh, oh, I tell a lie. <gasps> oh, because I think I'm, because I actually was in his range to start with, then he did actually, was. oh my god, that was cool. <laughs> oh, now all my stuff is movement. Um, see, what have we got? I'm hoping this guy's going to um, attack the other guy again. Um, I think I might actually have to slip round this guy, just because I, I don't want to be in anyone's way. We'll do a quick strike on him. Uh, and then, that's pretty much it. Let's end the turn. Um, this is proving a bit tricky because I've got uh, no way of moving. I don't want to kill this guy because then I'll get shot. So what I think I might do is, he's going to this lad over here is going to attack for four, him eight. He's going to die though. Hmm. So I thought what, I th what I'll do is I'll push him out of the way so he just doesn't attack me. Uh, and then I'll put my, I'll give him a kick. Because why not? And I should now be okay. Ha ha! Oh, that is so satisfying every single time. So yeah, this is shaping up to be incredibly stylish and fun and another great twist on the deck building genre. So this is Cosmocrats, a zero-g action puzzler where you assemble spaceships. Uh, this is a pre-alpha demo with no release date yet for the final release. I'm the drone and I've got to push these bits of spaceship together to form, well, some kind of big spaceship, I guess. 
Um, but there are wrinkles like, well, we've, we've seen the design once and now, well, we've got to, we've got to work out how it all fits together. Uh, we've got to make sure that the power flows through it and these solar panels will generate power and it's, oh, there we go. Red to red is generally a good clue. Oh, now I'm going to crush that cosmonaut. Oh dear. I think I stunned the cosmonaut, but it's fine. It's fine. It's giving us a bit of a hint here. This is the third mission of three in the demo. And this one is a bit more abstract than the previous ones, but it's still giving us a bit of hintage as to what exactly we need to connect up. Like to like with the red. Good. This is already looking quite good. So you can move any size shape, it doesn't really matter. It's momentum that matters, as the game tells you. I think we can go over here and do that. Oh no, we didn't quite make it. Nice. We have to do the old spinneroo here. It's like a big fridge. Uh oh. No, that's no good. Oh. Sucky! Yes! Nice. Oh, how did we get that in? <laughs> Let's just give it a shove. Oh! Okay, we have to get it around that side. Okay. Okay. That changes things. Around the corner. Mind those solar panels? We're we losing all of it. Oh god, we're running out of time. Get in. I don't care which way around it goes. Oh god. Ugh. Get in! Oh no. Okay. Right, hang on. Ha! That's more like. Oh, it nearly went in. Okay, quick, 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 quick. We've got it in. There, 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 there. Ooh, like a glove. And we've built a supercomputer in space! Also, the world blew up. Commandant, uh, I'm happy to report the new supercomputer is ready for activation. Excellent. I'll be there just as soon as I've oiled my moustache. <laughs> 